ओके हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर टेकिंग एन एग्जांपल और और प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ एन मोबाइल कंप्यूटिंग ओके मोबाइल फॉर मोबाइल कंप्यूटिंग प्रैक्टिकल वी नीड्स अ विजुअल स्टूडियो 2008 ओके एंड द स्मार्ट डिवाइस ऑप्शन बट दैट आई हैव इन द ओनली इंस्टॉल्ड इन विंडोज 7 ओके सो देयर इज अ इन माय सिस्टम we having the visual studio 2010 okay visual studio 2010 so we use an windows form application for an practical purpose okay there has similarity okay similarity uh, therefore the, by choosing the option of smart device we having the option we are goes in files okay we selecting option of files okay then new project okay after clicking a project they have option show that the windows form c sharp okay, there have another language also vb but we are prefer as c sharp okay c sharp and windows form application okay after that we provide a name of an a practical okay so name given as the factorial okay we doing a factorial program factorial okay. factorial so simple factorial then click on okay okay after click on okay they having a form okay in the mobile computer practical we have and the smart device okay the it output has been the change okay way of output other way other things are same okay. first we taking in label okay then right click on it go down property okay they have a property window okay. we in property windows we choose the text okay we give text as a number so we have as a labeling okay capital we go the number okay. after that we take an text box for user inputting a number so we select a text box okay drag and drop it okay Uh, by default text box name is shown as a text box 1 label name is label 1 okay then we take a button for calculating and factorial okay in button we give the name as find capital is there doesn't matter capital small okay we take as an for the factorial okay so we just find the factorial okay. find factorial take on okay then take another label next label for output or dessert okay drag it and drop it Okay, there are label two. We text has been removed. Okay, uh, we assign a text after the operation. So double click on the button. So event has been generated. Okay, event name as the button click. Okay. After we see there is a button having the name as a button one. We also rename it as a B one, B two, as per our requirement or as per your your choice. Okay. Double click on button. Okay. After the clicking button, first we take an a int variable because the number. is an integer okay. 
in okay and assign a value of text box one dot text to it okay they hang showing an error because text box is an string okay and we want integer okay so we convert it convert dot to be int 32 okay and round bracket okay round bracket close okay error has been solved okay next next we want another variable fact to storing the factorial value okay fact is equal to 1 okay we do specific value because we if we does not allow any value to it it take an garbage value okay then normally we take an while loop okay basically we all know the logic of an factorial okay what is the analogy? We discuss on it. Okay, n is greater than one. Okay. If the condition is true, the loop has been executed. Okay, if we take an example. Okay, if okay. if we consider n is equal to five. Okay, you want to know. If we consider that n is equal to five. So what is a factorial? Factorial means factorial is equal to five into four into three into two into one. Okay. This is a factorial and gives the value as of the final output. Okay. This is an logic. So we take a first number n as it is n minus 1 again n minus 1 again n minus 1 up to 1 okay we see the logic of factorial is equal to factorial equal to logic is that n into n minus 1 okay again into this is a bracket Okay, n is a constant number. Okay, again, n minus two into up to this process is gone up to into one. Okay, if is a process has on going up to the last value, n is going to the one. Okay. So we take next fact is equal to factorial equal to fact means the already multiply value into n okay and we want to decrease the value of n so n equal to n minus one or or we also similar terms we also write here n minus minus okay. n minus one we write both of your any one okay so this is an optional part if we write n is equal to n minus one so that doesn't require to write a n minus one okay then after a complete program we assign a value to a label to that we are taking here designed for a result okay there is label there is label for a resulting okay we see label i have name as a label 2 okay which is in this position okay label 2 dot text equal to we show the output factorial equal to k plus and fact okay. okay this is an output so we need unwanted line here ok 
okay this is your factorial code okay, simple five lines code for n factorial okay. save it okay and run using the green button i showing above okay start debugging to run okay run it there is a little problem after run we insert any number okay just like 6 find factor factor is showing here okay similar in the four factor there okay five factor there, okay this is then a simple program for a factor there, okay thank you for watching if in uh, next video we are also taking the another example okay just like the reverse number or fibonacci series and many okay so if we interested then like subscribe okay and we you also share to your friends for uh, another information thank you